us are from uh, Sweden. The Nigerian Super Eagles are in the Ivorian capital, Abidjan, uh, for the 34th Africa Cup of Nations finals. Uh, the chartered aircraft that conveyed the players and officials of the three-time African champions touched down at about 11.23 a.m. Ivorian time with the contingent dressed in Nigeria's traditional kaftan attire with a cap to match. Wilfred Ndidi has been joined on the sidelines by Victor Boniface, uh, two players that will be sorely missed by the team and their absence does not seem to be any kind of blessing in disguise. Nigerians are reacting to this development and our correspondent Jenny Mweze has this report. Just 21 days and now the final is upon us. Welcome Ahead of the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon, Napoli striker and current African footballer of the year, Victor Simon, got injured in Taiwan when he was drafted into the squad in his stead. In this year's AFCON, when he is out injured and Victor Boniface, who has been replaced by Nice player, Terran Morphy. Kileshi Nghanacho has been certified fit by the doctors and confirmed by the Nigeria Football Federation technical director. But his match fitness remains a concern. Now, yes, we're going to be missing some players due to injuries and all that. Yes, the team will, will definitely miss these players. Nghanacho is half fit. Hopefully, he becomes and he gets uh, that 100% fitness so he can go do what he knows best to do. When you have a team that's been playing together for a while, and all of a sudden there are a few changes, it has a way of affecting. Being a chore for me has not been too lucky. He's a player that wants to give his best, but there's nothing you can also do when you get injured. Uh, I think that's just it. Uh, for me, I think he, he, sh he should continue to work hard. The injury list has altered the starting lineup of the Super Eagles, but the players in the squad are not new to the team and are expected to adapt easily. It's difficult for me to tell you who replaces who because I'm not the direct coach right now. But we have a squad. Uh, we have a squad that anyone that is picked and given specific rules or instructions, we go out there and, and deliver. You know, in my time with the national team, you see players like um, uh, Yakuba Yegbeni, you know, players like Usaze. Even in the dressing room, you see them telling, hey, guys, we need to win this game. We need to fight for this country. We need to fight for, 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 for us being included in this team. The Nigeria senior men's team lost their last friendly against Guinea in Abu Dhabi. And the team traveled to Côte d'Ivoire on the 10th of January. The team will play their first match in the African Cup of Nations against Equatorial Guinea on 14th January before meeting the host Côte d'Ivoire on the 18th and Guinea-Bissau on the 22nd of January. Jane Francis Mweze, TVC News, Abuja. All right, thank you, Jane. Joining the show live now is Vincent Akimbami, a football administrator. Vincent, I'm glad to have you on the program. Very quickly, what do you make of uh, um, the Super Eagles... Um, Nations Cup beat. They want to do it again. That's been their mantra this season. Uh, it's been 10 years since the Super Eagles last won the Africa Cup of Nations. But unfortunately, recent results by the team uh, do not inspire confidence. Yes, uh, Mr. Promise, uh, if you look at uh, what's on ground, of course, uh, most of us will actually not be looking up to, uh, open for anything because it's side that have uh, only scored uh, two goals in the last two games a side that have considered uh, 10 goals in the last 12 games, a side, of course, have been hit with injury. Uh, the likes of uh, Boniface, of course, have uh, uh, been injured. And uh, indeed, of course, uh, one would think, uh, one would be us believe that, yes, uh, we're just going for uh, a show. And, of course, uh, a side uh, whose coach uh, is just trying formations from days uh, uh, to the tournament. Uh, one would definitely think, uh, uh, we just, just hope that they will just go there and possibly lock, run, uh, maybe possibly wumble and fumble. To, to win the tournament, but I still don't believe that uh, with the players we have on ground, uh, uh, we, if the coach can is can you know combine the players together, as uh, uh, you know, luckily combine the players together because uh, for me, I he has not been using them correctly. I think we can think about something. We have the likes of who will be there, the likes of Yusuf, who I think uh, uh, is a good replacement for Ndidi, and uh, Murphy himself, uh, who was coming for uh, Victor Boniface. He plays like a uh, Boniface, but he that Boniface is faster than Murphy. Uh, he's also left footed. Uh, but a good goal getter and a player who also rose comes back to pick the ball and can play with the midfield. So I think uh, something good can come out of this team, despite the fact that uh, 
it looking uh, uh, very bleak, uh, looking at the results uh, we've had in the past and looking at uh, uh, the use of players uh, by the coach in a match, match against Guinea. So the 3 5 3 formation, and uh, of course, uh, China for the first time, uh, during the workout, I will also hope that uh, uh, the coach and the players, of course, uh, will get it right at the, at the start of the tournament. Are you not worried that uh, with just a few days to a tournament, our coach is still trying out formations? However, looking at the team right now, what, uh, which of the departments do you, uh, do you really worry about the most? From the goalkeeping to the defense, to the midfield, to the attack, you look at the players we've got, and you feel we've got a plethora of quality players who should be able to work together as a team. Yeah, I think we have, uh, for all departments, I think for me, for the, for the players on ground, uh, we have uh, quality players on ground. The problem right now is from the midfield. A, a, a team going for tournaments and bringing in only five midfielders. Midfield is where is the heart of the game. Midfield is where you, uh, you can use players to change the formations. We only have five midfielders. Who will be? Uh, you have uh, Yusuf. You also have uh, about five or six of them. Which for me, it is not enough. You don't have to go with plethora uh, of, of, of strikers. In most countries, I go with only four or five strikers, including the wingers. They make, make it up all, all five. So the players you did, that, that you should go for tournament should be major leave uh, from the from the midfield, which can help you to uh, to change your formation, change your style of play. But I, I want to believe that uh, uh, if if the coach can get it right, combining the players properly in the midfield, uh, possibly of course uh, you have Yusu, like I said, you have uh, uh, um, uh, Aribo, you have Uedika, and you have Iwobi. If you can use them properly, I think the attack will gel. Um, playing a 43 formation has not been too good for us. Most times, the coach end up using two wingers and a striker. And for me, I don't think it's 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 what it's, 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 it has always paid off. I I, I think I've played a situation where you use two point striker with a winger. The likes of maybe uh, are using um, uh, uh, um, the, the top striker or Sime and maybe Sadiq or Ahmed Musa to play with a, a winger and having three midfielders in, in three players who, midfielders who are ball jugglers who are mobile uh, to help the attack to move. I think uh, the major problem will be the use of players and the uh, formation to be played. We have the players on ground, but the player the problem right now is how to use them, how to combine them. For me, that's a major problem. If we can get it right, I think um, I still want to believe that something positive can come out of uh, this five team at the Nations Cup. All right. Well, may, let me share some a uh, bit of uh, um, um, a positive um, mind to what you just said because the last time we won a Nations Cup in 2013, it was all bleak prior to the tournament um, under the late Stephen Akershi. Thank you so much.